an old protest song is given new life on the streets of Melbourne. As a sea of red swept Federation Square, so did a sense of deja vu. Many in Australia's Burmese community fled their homeland after taking part in the student uprisings of 1988. They thought their protesting days were behind them, but that all changed when the military again seized power in a coup last week. In Myanmar, old and new forms of protest have combined. Banging pots and pans, a Burmese tradition of driving out evil spirits, is now squarely targeted at the military. They are debater, so they're soldiers. They, they don't know the democracy. They don't go the democracy. They just know only order. Myanmar's youth are finding creative ways to be heard with bodybuilders and ball gowns. Pu Tor is a mixed martial arts athlete. He's used to a fight, but now he's preparing for a different kind of battle, a peaceful struggle for Myanmar's democracy. We just control our anger and we just keep going together safety. So we don't want to fight. We're not, we're not coming out on the road to fight. So we don't want to fight. We just want peacefully just to, to get back our freedom, our democracy, our justice. The country is the latest addition to the Milk Tea Alliance, an online solidarity movement of Asian nations fighting for democracy that also have a liking for the beverage. They've borrowed popular symbols of resistance, like the Hunger Games salute, which was an iconic image of the student protests in neighbouring Thailand. And while there's a light-hearted tone, these protests can turn deadly serious. The future is, is very, you know, if we are going, if we lose these times, the future is like not Korea. So we can't give up, we can't quit. And protesters in Myanmar have a message for those in Australia. Please stand with us, help us. That's what I want to share. Erin Handley, ABC News.